First of all, I want to thank all y'all for being here. And obviously, this is a great opportunity for us to debut Columbia Streams Art Public Art Program. This new urban canvas that we're unveiling here at Todd Moore. And I want to thank Todd Moore not only for allowing us to use their, their, their canvas as we have it here, but also they've been in business for uh, over 80 years in our community and a fixture and they've constantly been giving back and once again they're giving back and we want to thank them for that. This art program has already seen incredible achievement through providing collaborative engagement between the city and the thriving arts community. And you know, when we talk about the vibe in Columbia, there's an energy here. People are believing in who Columbia is and it's going across every aspect and it's bringing us together to collaborate. Uh, we had great success as part of this program. We had our, our leaping trout program with 35 leaping trout sculptures that we auctioned off and some of them being placed across the city, some of them being placed in private uh, businesses and homes, but very excited about the opportunity there. And then now we move into this urban canvas, which was a conversation we had with Stephen and the unveiling at the Art Bar of a collaborative program, uh, project that included our sister city in Kaiserslautern, which now the full scale um, canvas is at our convention center. And when I say full scale, we're talking about two floors of canvas and it's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. But the beginning of our opportunity to take these urban canvases with these collaborations between our arts community around our city so that people can enjoy and really get to understand some of the beautiful art aspects. But what's great about it is that we're, we're partnering in collaboration, 10 local artists represented with visual art, sculpture, jewelry design, poetry. And this is just a great example. We have one of our artists here, Miss Wilma King is also here as part of it. And obviously Christine is here, our contributing poet, and we're so excited about, come on up here, Ms. King. If you don't know which one is hers, it's the bottom right. So make sure you get a capture of that for, for us. But we're so excited to have these artists involved. We have Jennifer Boykin, our, our poet laureate. We have uh, Diane Condon, Wil Wilma King, who's here. Tabitha Ott, Christina Hartzevig. Did I say that right? Hartvixen. Hartvixen, that's Norwegian. Just had a, just talked to somebody from Norway yesterday. Um, Michael uh, Cassidy, Laurie Starnes, uh, Michael Dreyer, Austin Shepard, and Anna Redwine. And so excited to have these 10 artists as we put these canvases across the community and rotate them around so that part of it is not only are you exposed to these collaborations, but you actually have to go find them and be part of it, which I think is more important than anything because it's part of learning more parts of our community. And then, so at this point, I'd like to ask Stephen Chesley to, to come forward talk about the vision that he sold to me in the parking lot of the art bar and yes we were sober at the time um, but we had a deep discussion about how we take canvas and take these collaborations and really share art in a different manner across and i think this is a national debut of this type right national. Stephen? the idea yes the idea is a national idea so once again columbia is a leader thank you Stephen, for doing that with that i want to bring Stephen up to right. talk a little bit more about the canvas program thank you mayor scott wilma christine uh first of all what is it what is a urban canvas what is the idea well it's uh it's not a mural and it's not a banner. So the idea is that it's a canvas. And the idea is that uh, culture is a universal language that unifies communities. So, uh, and also uh, that artistry is not restricted to canvas and paint. And this, uh, this form of presentation allows other artists, such as writers and actors and dancers uh, uh, that uh, enrich our city to have a showcase here. So the idea is sort of a guerrilla sort of uh, presentation of this. Uh, this location here, I noticed from rush hour during uh, you're at the stoplight and you're just looking ahead. Well, the idea is that you look up and you see something different. You see a piece of art here. 
and then a couple of weeks later it's gone. And then some other building throughout the city, you see another piece of art. And then another piece of art comes here. And the, there's no narrative. It's for you just to enjoy and start thinking about the cultural uh, uh, matrix that we have in this city. So uh, that's generally it. And uh, I'd like to introduce Christine. Uh, uh, and she's a writer and a poet. And her artistry is represented on this piece on the wall here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good morning. I got that part out. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to thank Mayor Rick and Men and the City of Columbia for their support of the arts and for their untiring efforts to bring all forms of art before the eyes of citizens who may not otherwise experience it. When I was asked to be a contributor, I was frankly stunned. Me? Contribute a few lines of poetry to a piece of visual public art? As a poet, I've read to an empty room more times than I can count, so I can't express how lovely it is to be included in a project that many eyes will see. Inclusion truly is priceless. I'm proud and grateful to be included with the talented artists here. And to the city, thank you. Thank you for seeing the painter quietly mixing pigments for a canvas he may never show. For seeing the dancer up before coffee, quietly stretching at the bar in an empty studio. Thank you for seeing the playwright hunched over his laptop at three in the morning as coils of cigarette smoke rise from a nearby ashtray. Thank you for seeing the musicians, photographers, choreographers, directors, singers, actors, woodworkers, glass growers, gallery owners, costumers, the makers who inspire and improve the quality of life for all of us. And thank you for seeing the poets and storytellers, like me, who share words more often in the casual glow of a campfire than before a room full of eager listeners. It is vital that artists who toil daily at work um, that comes from deep in their souls, that they're seen by the city, that benefits from their presence, that acknowledges their value. Sometimes our most creative inspiration is born in the slow solitude of unseen places. This project, Urban Canvas, is a love letter to them and a gift to all. Thank you. Thank you. And um, Mayor Rickenman. First of all, I also want to take an opportunity to thank our staff, Scott and Peyton, Henry, and all who have been so supportive of getting this project out of the ground and kind of doing all the hard work. Had an idea, we captured those ideas, we put it out. Thank you all so much for your continued support of this program and obviously city council and our city manager because without the funding for the program we wouldn't be standing here today. We also have our our one Columbia here. Good to see you sir. Thanks for being here and being part of it.